Hello, Chris Groff here, uh, Kruger School of Applied Technologies. What we're doing right now is a collision detection app. Basically, this is a we've continued this off of the fling movement. So we're setting it up so that when we fling this character, it's going to pick it up. And I've set up a score, and the score will count as you collect them. Um, I've tried it out on my phone, and it actually works very solid on the phone. Uh, for whatever reason, I guess with the emulator, you only get one speed when you flick it. The direction works, but the speed is very slow. So I am going to delete my image sprite 2 here and my labels. And I will walk you guys through it. You want to open up your fling project. You should have your canvas and your image sprite already in there. We're going to go to drawing and animation and add a second image sprite. And what that'll be is like our pickup item. We're going to upload a picture. So you'll go to picture, upload file, choose file. If you're in my class, 506 App Inventor folder. I'm going to choose the money. I've already had it in there, that's why it was saying that. Um, and then we we need to add in two labels. So under user interface, let's drop a label on top, change the text under properties to score, and let's make it like 20. And then we'll add in another label underneath that, and change the text to the number 0 and that's what we'll be changing. So label 2 is what will have change here. All right. Once you have that, let's go to the blocks. And I'm going to delete these. I had them in there. All right. So collision detection. Um, we want to select the image sprite 1. And we want to find the block that says when the image sprite 1 collides with other do this. We want to set our image sprite 2. So we'll select image sprite 2. You want to get to the block that says set image sprite 2 visibility. So when image sprite 1 collides with image sprite 2, the visibility will be false. So under logic, we'll select the false block. And that will make the image sprite 2, which is my money, gone. It'll make it disappear. Okay. We also want to set up the score. So we need to create a variable. So select variables, click on initial global variable, or initial global, and we'll name it score. And we're going to set that value with the math block here to 0. Alright, so we're going to go to label 2, and label 2 was our score. So we're going to set label 2 text to, and we're going to use math here. So we're going to get the plus sign. So it's going to set the text to the score. So we're going to, you want to hover your mouse over the word score here, select the get global score block. And then we're going to add a value to it. And any value is fine. I'm just going to use 1. Okay. So when you have that set up and you connect to your emulator, let me go ahead and, well, you guys saw it at the beginning. You want to connect to your emulator, make sure it works, um, or your phone. Basically, when you fling your image sprite 1 and it touches your image sprite 2, the image sprite 2 will go away. It will no longer be visible. And your score should add a value of 1. Some other things to think about. Adding multiple um, collectibles. So you would add in another image sprite. It would be called image sprite 3. And you would have to set up that same block. Set the visibility to false. And then... Um, it would also, when it's touched, add the add a one to the score. Okay. You could also set a sound, so you could add in. 
if you wanted to, a sound component. Um, let's see, media, sound. Okay, so you could put in a sound. Let's go to blocks here. Sound. And then you could call the sound to be played. Of course, you'd have to go back to your designer here and select your sound and then upload whatever sound file you could find. All right. So that's some things to think about. Um, but basically, I want to see that when the image sprite 1 collides with the image sprite 2, it goes away and your score adds. If you guys have that, you'll get 100 on the assignment. You just need to show me when you're done. If you're finished before the end of class, you can try adding the sound or multiple collectibles.